John Catucci is back. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Great to have you here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> when you bring oh, stuff like this, phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, got a cookbook. You got to eat here. Canada's favorite hometown restaurants and hidden gems. Yeah. I, I love this kind of book. I got to tell you because you've got some Toronto favorites in here. You've brought a few, and then there's some other ones that. Are listed like just the stuff that well dangerous dance has been around forever that's one that you list in here that's yes. not here today but um that if you haven't tried it once you probably should because it's just such a funny little joint yes uh it's uh the, i think they were the first ones who started the really large size oversized burgers yeah. and stuff like that yeah. uh and uh, if you haven't had one you should because uh, they're frightening and they're delicious oh all at the same time <laughs> oh my god and uh I haven't eaten meat in about three years, but I'll tell you what, Do those it. ribs smell pretty good. Do it. Uh, from Hadley's uh, <laughs> on college. Uh, ribs, mac and cheese, and then uh, Lex makes a, a lemon tart uh, all by herself, all, yeah. the, all there. Do it. All three of those things. Well, I'm things. starting here. Oh, by yeah, the way, yeah. all three of those things, Can ribs, mac and cheese, and lemon tart, are things that people get really specific in. about. Yes. Like people will go to a place because they like the ribs in that place. Yes. You know, like all ribs are not created mm. equal. Exactly. But th this place, you, they pipe the, the, the smoke out. So when you're walking by, oh, yeah. you smell it. You and then you, yeah, you waft in. <laughs> and these are all the places that you've selected from your travels? Yeah, the show we shot, the, the, these are all restaurants that, we, that were on the first season of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so the book uh, consists of recipes, uh, little stories from uh, each restaurant, lots of pictures of me eating things. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, ever, yeah. and then you got stuff here from Uncle Betty's, which is another restaurant uh, in Toronto. I love that name. You know, the I term like greasy spoon is, is, it sounds a little derogatory, but it ain't, it ain't necessarily so. No, you know? It's a good a, little local greasy spoon spans generations. It does. And yeah. l some of the places that we visited in Canada across have been, well, like you said, generations. Like yeah. second, third generation people owning it, but also families and, and kids of uh, coming to the restaurant, which is pretty cool too. Yeah. What is that? Stuffed French toast with mascarpone and blueberry coulis. And then this is well, this is one of my favorites from the restaurant. It's uh, it's the ultimate mac, uh, grilled That's cheese. That's insane. That looks uh, crazy. So it's got, it's got mac and cheese and it's got uh, uh, meatloaf. In a grilled cheese. That's crazy. That's for, and then you have one that has also a pulled pork version of it. <laughs> eat it. Do it, Dave. <laughs> eat it. You can't eat it with a fork. So this is meatloaf, mac and cheese. I can't stop eating fried this. Fried bread. P.S. In butter. Not stopping. Right? Eat Just it. Eating. Eat it. Now, when you're doing a show like this, go, and a, a sandwich like that shows up, yeah, are you just like. This mm. is the best day ever. This could be the oh, new champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, and then I'm also scared, also, a little bit, because uh, I can't eat all of it, but I want to, or else right. I'm just going to get fat, but right. plaid really covers it up. Is it fat in your family? <laughs> Sorry? Would you go fat? Well, could I go fat? Well, genetically, are you predisposed to put a on fat, weight? A fat gene? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah? That's why I've got to just take a little bites. But some people can eat and eat and eat and eat and never seem to put How on weight. How is this? Huh? It looks ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's, it's on ridiculous. hollow bread, isn't it? Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, like it's that, everything that's... that was left over, I think, a little, <laughs> in, the, in the fridge. And a little, then little tomato, little, tomato, little smoky tomato sauce wrong? there on the Nothing meatloaf. Wrong with that. No, no, no of course wrong. not. Grab the sweet. <laughs> Do that, and then you have to order one of these. They're like uh, they're called twin K's. <laughs> uh, little cakes uh, stuffed with whipped cream. Last one I had a ganache in it. Oh, you're doing that, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Oh wow. Are you happy? What's this? Isn't a that funny you say twink that? Because I'm like, yes, happy is exactly what happens when that hits your mouth. You're eating your feelings. It's lovely. It's a good, uh, <laughs> healthy way to deal with life. Healthy way to go about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? This, I think. I'm just covered in grease yeah, over here. Yeah, it's good. It's a good thing. Don't yeah. look at your shirt. Don't even look at it. Exactly. It's fine. Don't look at it. <gasps> is that a chocolate? A, is it chocolate? No, that's not chocolate. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stain. <laughs> Where are you going? What happened? Uh oh. Are stay. You get Don't worry. It's fine. No one saw it. It's all right. Uh, yeah, so this is a great job. I get to eat and travel the country. Maybe so a what's napkin. <laughs> what's wrong well, I don't, with I'm, I'm Sorry, I didn't... Uh, I didn't is everyone <laughs> fans out? No, they're all gone. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> bring that over, Meg. Uh, just bring that over. Here, pass that. There you go. Just wipe your face with that. That's, what that's we've a got. good thing. That's, that's, what uh, that's what we have for you. <laughs> that's all we can do. It's not my fault. I didn't... Canadian like television. a lint brush. It's it is like, like a Oh, look at this. Oh. There you go. Kleenex. Thank you. You, uh, <laughs> your nose. Uh, you're good. You're good. What's next on the agenda for you, my friend? We're shooting uh, the second season right now that mm -hmm. goes to air in February. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're heading to Vancouver on Wednesday. 
and then uh, back home for a little bit, and then uh, we finish shooting at the end of February. Do you have a Toronto favorite? Can you name a Toronto favorite? Oh, that's hard. I know, huh? Like there's one so, there's thing, a lot one of dish, one variety. Place. That's a lot of variety. Yeah. Uh, that lemon tart was, I, I, I'm not a huge dessert person, yeah. but that is tasty. It's because it's almost like a shortbread bottom on the, uh, like a crust and at the bottom of that. And a lemon tart is, shouldn't be overly sweet anyway, you see. No, so but, the, but uh, Lex does it well. She, uh, she had a little trick where she put a little basil leaf yes. in the, the lemon curd. That's nice. And it brought wow. the, uh, the uh, oh. lemon flavor out too. Yeah. I, I'm not I sure if I should have said that. I don't know if I uh, gave, gave away, away some secret. secret. I'm sorry, or something. I apologize. No, I think those are great complimentary flavors. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, was, uh, it, it was really cool. Because uh, I live in that neighborhood too, so it's ni it was nice to, to go there. And we also went to Phil's Barbecue as well down the street. Uh, so it's been cool. So tasty. John Catucci. Love having you here. You got to eat here, Canada's favorite hometown restaurants and hidden gems. What a fun book. Uh, thanks for the grub. Enjoy. Uh, don't eat it all. <laughs> Good